This is a British Mark I Star helmet. This helmet was used by the British military pre-World War II and during World War II. It is the predecessor to the Mark II Brody and the successor of the Mark I Brody helmet. This is basically the equivalent to the American Kelly helmet or M1917 A1 helmet. This is the type of helmet that British forces would have been using in battles such as Dunkirk or in the early stages of the Far East campaign when the uh, Japanese were pretty much overrunning them. We'll start off with the inside and the liner system. Pretty close to the Mark II liner system, just a little bit of minor differences. The uh, larger leather crown pad that's riveted in place. And uh, you can actually turn this liner inside the helmet if you wanted to. It also has an older chin strap that uh, was replaced in the Mark II because this would often slip off the wearer's chin. And as you can see in here, the liner is dated 1938, made by Vero. There's a size 7.5, which is a pretty large size for back then. And right here, you can see the steel batch lot number from the World War I steel supplier, because this is a World War I Mark I helmet shell that was refurbished for post-war use. Uh, the pre-World War II and uh, World War II stages. If I can uh, get it to focus here. Mm. Well, forget it. Um, the uh, chin strap lugs are also dated 1938. So this is a uh, awesome pre-World War II helmet. Let's go ahead and uh, flip it over. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the liner, last parts of the liner. This uh, helmet probably wasn't stored that well. It was probably used uh, pretty hard during its service and kept in the basement or something. So the liner's a little bit dry. Uh, everything's in one piece though, nothing's broken. It is missing the uh, liner drawstring, but uh, that's about it. Chin strap is still in nice good shape. Let's turn it over here. As you can see, uh, pretty bad storage, poor storage rust. Uh, the camera camera light's actually making it look a lot worse than it actually does to the human eye. It actually looks pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, in the different types of paint that was on this helmet during its service. So uh, still in really good condition considering its age. This is a very rare helmet. Uh, it's rare and defined in the, the United Kingdom, but for me in... Uh, over here in America, it's uh, pretty much impossible to find. I had to buy this from a UK dealer and uh, paid a good amount of money for it. Had to pay shipping as well. So, And you see the older top rivet right there. I did buy a helmet net from the same dealer to go with it. You know, just to cover it up, make it look a little bit better. This is a pretty much mid-war helmet net. It's not the early uh, hand-woven type, but... Uh, this net is a smaller one, so it's only made to fit the Mark II or Mark I Star helmets. It does not fit a Turtle helmet or any of the uh, Dispatch Rider or Repair Trooper helmets. So it's pretty close to being correct. Or it could be correct for all I know. Soldiers used all kind of gear, new and old in the field. So this is a very awesome helmet. I've seen a lot of service. And I'm happy to have it in the collection. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.